Hey ladies, it's Karen. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing a little bit of how I take care of myself during my menstrual cycle. I started incorporating some cycle syncing methods like eating certain foods depending on the time of the month. So things like blueberries, pumpkin seeds, those are really good to have while you are on your cycle. I also like to take walks, especially now that it's still relatively nice outside. So instead of doing strenuous workouts during this time, I like to go for walks. They dream when me, let your mind explore all the things we were created for. Possibilities and open door that keeps us reaching out for more. So it is windy and my hair is probably going to be standing all over my head and I forgot my mic so hopefully you guys can hear me but I like to come to the park I like to sit by the lake I've shared this before in other vlogs but it's just so peaceful out here like I can sit here for hours and look at the water and pray it's it's just so peaceful here so i was reading my book i recently book, the power of your dreams and it talks about just and i have been wanting to get this for a while i actually got it pre-ordered i pre-ordered it for it came from these but God has been really speaking to me a lot in my dreams more than he ever has. I mean, God speaks to us in so many different ways, but he's really been speaking to me in my dreams. So I just wanted to get better understanding of how God speaks to us in our dreams, what they mean, how to interpret them, how to seek the Lord for clarification about what he's saying to you. And it's really been powerful just to see just another way for God to communicate with us. And like I said, God has really been saying a lot to me in my dreams. A lot of it is prophetic. A lot of it is a lot of promises, which I'm excited about. And just different things. So just really making sure that I sit in his presence, that I take time to sit in his presence and really just hear what he has to say for me, what he has to say for my life concerning, you know, every area of my life, because I don't want to do things that are not in alignment with his will for my life. Because at this point, it's in my mind, it's just a waste of time. If not, if God's not in it, but what's the point? But if God's in it, and if he's in alignment with it, if that's in his will for your life, then he will bless it, right? So... Anyway, I am sitting out here and I'm going to, it's actually the sun is actually not out as you guys can tell, but I don't mind it. I am going to go run to the store and run some other errands before I go back home. It's so funny because people are looking at me like I'm talking to myself. So I'm sitting out here. It wasn't that crowded when I first came out here, but now I guess the school's starting to get out. I waited a little bit later in the day to go, but school's getting out, so people are like out and about. I'm actually gonna leave before it gets too crowded, before school really gets out and kids start coming to the park and stuff. Yeah, but it's so funny. This older couple is just, they, just, they walk by because it's like a park it's a lake it's like a trail you can walk it's really nice that's why i love coming out here but this older couple that has been walking by several times and they've seen me practically almost this whole time i've been out here filming and now they see me talking and they're like <laughs> is she talking to herself it's so funny people still even as much as people like vlog and there's youtube and instagram and tiktok and all that stuff it's so funny to me how people 
can see somebody like with a camera out shooting content. Oh, it's, it's so funny how people can still see people out shooting content with a camera and still look at you like it's weird. I feel like in this day and age, people should be used to it. Like, I mean, and I don't know, maybe because I'm a content creator, but if I saw somebody out with a camera, which I have, saw somebody out with a camera, I would just automatically assume, oh, they're creating content. Cool. Or I wonder what their socials are. You know, maybe I could follow. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I'm just going to sit on for just a little bit longer. I took much longer, I guess. I'm making a salad for dinner tonight and I needed to pick up some ingredients. I needed some balsamic vinaigrette because I was out and I was looking at a few of these dressings that I found. The ingredients aren't bad on these. I like Primal Kitchen's products so I do use them from time to time. But as I was walking by, I saw actual balsamic vinegar and I decided to pick that one up instead because the, a lot of the ingredients in the Primal Kitchen dressing I already had. So I was like, I can just kind of make my own if I really want like a special kind of dressing. So I got the balsamic vinegar and I put the Primal Kitchen dressing back. <laughs> what what platform? Um, YouTube and Instagram. Oh, I also needed to run by Target and pick up a few things. I like to treat myself every now and then, especially during this time of the month. I'm into home decor, so this I thought was perfect for the fall season. I also needed to get some more pads and tampons. I like to use non-toxic products whenever possible and this definitely includes my feminine hygiene products. I like to go with organic, non-toxic whenever possible. Okay, let's do a quick little grocery haul. So I got some red chard. I needed some more grape tomatoes strawberries, cilantro, a lot of balsamic vinegar, so I needed some more of that for my salads, some kale, needed some more hemp seeds, black grapes, which are good when you are on the menstrual cycle, and some avocados, and I also picked up this is a dark chocolate sunflower buttercup. Now, one thing about me is I'm not perfect. I love fruits and vegetables, as you guys can see, but I also like my sweet treats and I do not deprive myself. But this one is my favorite because it's basically free. Can y'all see that? Oh, it's basically free of so many things. No dairy, no soy, wheat, all the things that I pretty much avoid. And it's just dark chocolate. It's just dark chocolate. It is vegan, of course, plant-based, of course. It's just dark chocolate and sunflower butter. So these are really delicious. And yeah, I just picked these up. Just a little sweet treat for myself. So I like to wash and clean my produce before I actually put it away even if I don't use it all at the same time. I like to just wash it and get it out of the way so that when I am ready to eat the produce it's already washed and ready to go.
Now for dinner, I did make a salad. Like I said, I am incorporating some cycle syncing methods into my routine, which is basically like just eating certain fruits and vegetables that are more beneficial during this time. And one of those things is like your dark leafy green. So that's why I picked up some Swiss chard and kale from the farmer's market today. I also chopped up some celery. I'm going to add that to the salad. It's very hydrating, which is important all month long, but it's also really important for a healthy flow as well. Cilantro is also very good, very detoxing. Kelp is also great, it's a great source of iodine and I'm actually going to use this in place of salt, uh, which is also really good, like I said, during your menstrual cycle as well. And these dark leafy greens have a lot of rich iron in them as well as the kelp. So I'm just adding a little bit of fresh lime juice. The acidity and the vitamin C will help your body to absorb all of that good iron. And I'm just going to go in and massage that all together with my hands before I add the rest of my toppings. And like I said, I try to incorporate as many good beneficial fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds that are ideal during this time. And I will leave a list in the description box of some good fruits and vegetables that are really good to have during your menstrual cycle in case you're interested. I took things really slow today. I usually take it easy during my menstrual cycle because your energy is already a little bit lower than the rest of the month. So I'm just relaxing in the evening by making some tea. This is raspberry and lavender, which are also excellent during this time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this very relaxing wellness vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.